What's going on, guys? Your boy Santa here. Hope you guys have yourself a wonderful and awesome day. This is going to be real quick because we're going to go through this real quick. Guys, back in the day when you guys could, you could take your 1920 by 1080, basically cut it in half in Premiere Pro and be able just to separate your gameplay and your uh, and your face cam differently. So that way when you were in Premiere Pro or any type of cut, you're able just to get it and, and keep going. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick, but this time in 4K because um, the new OBS, I'm in the new OBS 28 and um basically i've really never seen anybody do this really i've never seen somebody actually be able to do the 4k uhd um 60 range per second so uh let's get there real quick man let's let's go let's let's get right into it <laughs> so right here guys as you can see we're on we're on the screen of course um so first thing we were going to what to do you first of all i need to actually be able to show you guys what i'm about to do All right, guys, so we're here right here, as you guys can already see. We're in the general tab. Uh, like I said, this is gonna be real quick because most of the stuff, if you guys already done this before, you guys already know you guys don't do the, the uh, 1920 by 1080. So we're not gonna even worry about the stream or the, because uh, that's something if you're streaming record. We're going straight to the output, go to your recording. As you can tell, I'm recording myself right now. Um, so what I found different, of course, is, is that your encoder now has to be NVIDIA NVENC HEVC. The, the uh, 264, for some reason, cannot handle the uh, 4K recording. So that's the first thing you want to check. You want to go, you want to change your encoder from uh, the 264 to the um, to the HVEC. Um, your other ones, I did try the other ones in the new uh, in the new 28.1, uh, but it just didn't work. Uh, the only one that that tended to work was the uh, HVAC, from my understanding. Uh, also, of course, your uh, recording format, if you want to change that to your uh, MKV or MP4, it doesn't matter. Of course, as you guys already know, MKV is a lot more safer uh, when you're recording, especially if you're recording something really, really, really important. But if not, uh, MP4 is just as good. So the nitty gritty stuff. So last night I was actually uh, playing uh, a video game uh, through my PS5 console. And I noticed that a lot of times that of course it was real blurry or whatnot. And so also I tried, I put it in full HD, uh, 120 uh, Hertz. And I just was playing with it all last night. So basically what I found out to be the best thing to do is to keep it in CBR. Uh, you can your bit rate. I would keep it around fifty to six thousand. I, I take it if you're shooting or you're recording 4K, you must have a decent computer. So fifty to sixty uh, kbs will be the best. Your intervals, of course, you can keep it to zero. Your preset. These these two things here were, were the most biggest things to me um, because I noticed that every time that I would change the preset over to the uh, medium or lower that it couldn't handle it my my G, i have a, a ryzen 7 and um latest model too i have a 30 uh 3070 uh nvidia and so from p3 the lowest the low quality was the lowest i can go before the encoder started just completely tripping out so you're gonna want to keep your uh your preset to low quality just play with this if for some reason you start messing up play with these right here three start off with p1 make sure that it's actually doing okay and then if it and then just gradually go down and just see how far your gpu can basically take or uh your encoder can take it okay so of course you're tuning keep it in high quality um two pass main um yeah keep it at main here gpu zero of course uh, frames two so want to keep that as well and then the funny nitty gritty part. So as you again, like I said, you guys know I'm here recording. So what you guys want to do is uh, for the 4K, you guys want to just change the 3840. You're gonna take the 2160 right here. So basically, what you end up gonna do is you're gonna take the 3840, of course. So you got the calculator, calculator here, right? Take your 3840 plus 3840. For some reason, I don't know which is going to equal to 77,680. So, your thing is going to be 7,680. You're going to leave the X here 2160 on both sides on the output and your base canvas here. And so, uh, I'll show you guys what it's going to look like once you do that. Give me a second. 
And as you guys can see here, I'm back here, of course. Now we have a double layered here so that, as I told you guys earlier from the settings, we had 7860 by 2160 on each side with 60 frames per sec for 60 frames, yeah, per second, per second, Lord. <laughs> yeah, we had 60, but we're at 60 frames. So good here. So, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over to the right side here. And then I'm going to actually bring in my face. Hi. <laughs> So yeah, so you're gonna just gonna just uh, take this right here. If I go to my primary monitor, which is 38 by 60, it's gonna fit perfect. <laughs> it's only be it's only because my display, both the the other my I only have my one of my monitors are uh, 4K, and my other two monitors are, are 1080. So it's like uh, it, it it doesn't sometimes fit on there, but. If you, uh, most likely you guys are going to be using your PS4 or PS5, um, for your display, which I can show you right here as well. There you go. Be 4K, six frames per second. And so if we get into quite a beginning. Last night I was playing, uh, the demo. Of course I got them. So there you guys go right here. And so I was playing the, uh, I was playing the Forspoken video here. As you guys can see, I have it at 120 hertz display mode right now for my, and then I have it also on race tracing. So, as you guys can see, I'm over here running. Running out pretty good. It's running, running damn good actually. So, so yeah. There's no, you see, there's no, uh, like no dropping the frames or anything like that. So, but yeah, that's my tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys, uh, really enjoyed this, man. Um, as I said before, if you guys love the, the content, I really don't do too many, as you guys can probably tell, I don't do too many OVS, <laughs> but I just want to put that out there because I didn't see anybody that really did anything in particular like this. And so I want to put something out for you guys so that way you guys can see how to do it for yourselves if you guys have any questions or anything i can help you guys with definitely hit me down in the comments below also am i am live streamer here on youtube uh gaming i as you can see i play games on here but if you guys have any uh questions about this particular video guys uh, or about obs in general let me know down in the comments below you guys are freaking awesome love you guys and i will see you guys next time guys peace